Oh, oh, why is this still going? Oh my God, oh, there we go. Oh no, got stuck to him now. <laughs> Lady, we need to wash your hair. I'm freaking out. What's up guys and welcome back to Conan Exiles and in today's episode we are going to be recruiting some entertainment for our base. As you guys know there are quite a lot of sexy dancers scattered across the map but for the most part we found that they're either cannibals or wearing potato sacks which doesn't really make for the best entertainment. Now fortunately for us that isn't the case everywhere. There is a place far to the east where you can find a relatively rare red dressed dancer now, unfortunately for us, I have built our base really far to the west. There is no way that we can reach them. So to begin, we're going to have to build an away base. So I've managed to lug everything we're going to need to build a base the entire way across the map. And I can safely say that it took more than 10 minutes. There is no way that I would have been able to grab somebody from this ship and bring them back to our base without the timer running out. So I'm happy that I made this decision and I kind of want to build over here. This looks like a really good place for a base because there's really only one good point of access. I don't think people would want to jump down and get stuck or build up. So we have a medium wheel of pain on us, so we can actually get a couple of dancers if we're lucky. I should mention, I don't know what the odds of us seeing them are. They're apparently relatively rare. I'm sure we're going to find some potato sack dancers in there as well, but I'll, I'll keep trying. At the very least, I might need to do a jump cut until I find one, but... Fingers crossed, but before we do that, we're going to need to build ourselves a base. So let's see, I brought a bunch of uh, foundations and walls, we got ourselves a door. I kind of want to put the wheel inside, but now that I see this location, you know, I don't know if anybody would really want to screw with it. I'll, I'll see what we can do. This might actually work. I can't believe this. For a second, I wasn't sure if you could place the Wheel of Pain on foundations, but by the looks of it, if I leave a hole in the middle, it's just enough if I line it up to touch, right? So I should be able to spin you around. And I can't see if that's like in the middle or anything like that. It's probably off center, but I think it probably looks good. Yeah, screw it. Okay, how does that look? Do we have at least, oh, that's a little close over here. Actually, that's fine, because then I have all these foundation spots to build furnaces and stuff on. I do want this to be a slightly operational base. Like, it's not going to be worth raiding by any means, but I definitely want to be able to use it. So, let's see if we can put a door here. And I should have brought... I did bring a door with me. Like that. There we go. Okay, so we'll put some walls up, and then we're going to be in business. I mean, it's not exactly a fortress, but considering I walked halfway across the map within my pockets, I'm pretty happy with it. So we're going to lay down a bed, and I'm going to make that my spawn point, because the last thing I want to do is accidentally die and respawn on the other side of the freaking map. And then we just need to hope that there are some dancers in here. Uh, hi. You don't happen to have any red dancers in there, do you? You have a mighty big hammer. <laughs> I'm not used to fighting people with hammers. They don't have them in the Thrall City that I've built next to. Ah, calm down. Okay, if you're not just gonna give up your dancers peacefully, then I'm gonna have to take them by force. There's a very large spider beside us, sir. So we might wanna, there you go, thank you. I was gonna say that they're not gonna give up the dancer without a fight, but this guy seems okay not fighting. And I'm okay with that. So you're good. This guy, no, you're not interested. I'm perfectly okay with this. I have no idea how big this ship is or where exactly to find them. I was just told check the pirate ship. So, whoa. That wasn't my arrow. Who's shooting at me? Oh, there's people over here. So all of these guys weren't particularly interesting, but you are. Not because she's stuck in the ground, but because she's a Taskmaster. So normally, Taskmaster would be uh, whatever the race is, Taskmaster, and then either a number or a name, like Journeyman, Apprentice, Level 1, Level 2, something like that. You don't have, ow, any of that. You're just Zamorian, which doesn't really make much sense. I don't know if it's a bug or if her name is Zamorian and she's a Level 4 Thrall, which are really rare. Zamorian would be a really shitty name, but regardless, I think I'm going to knock you out and bring you with me. We'll, we'll figure it out later, but I kind of need a Taskmaster over here anyway, so you can be in charge of... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm getting my vinegar strokes in, hitting her while she's down. <laughs> so, you can come with me anyway, and uh, we'll put you on the wheel. I don't have any gruel. Oh, that's what I forgot. Okay, I, I might search through the ship first... And then if we don't get, have any luck and it needs to respawn, then I'll go figure out how I'm going to make gruel. There's nothing growing up here. Finding wood would be difficult enough. 
So you go there. What are you? You're just Zamorian. I have no idea. I hear hammering, but no dancing. Uh, sir? Miss? That's a miss. You look very different. Nordenheimer Armorer 3. I don't have a, a Nordheimer Armorer. I kind of want to grab you too. Like, I know I'm here for dancers, but I'm finding so many thralls that I don't have yet. So you can uh, just go, go to sleep. There you go. And then you can come with me. <laughs> I don't suppose I was lucky enough to find a level four thrall at the beginning of this episode. Because that would be unreal. I do have one other level four in like the hundred some odd hours I've played this game. I found a blacksmith and actually I don't think I've placed him yet. He's still on the Wheel of Pain back at our base, so before the episode ends, maybe I'll be able to show him to you guys. I think the Taskmaster might just be like a remnant of an earlier version of the game or something like that before they like segregated levels. I have no idea, but either way, we now have two with uh, no gruel. Okay, we have room for two more. At least one of them needs to be a dancer. I'm not gonna lie, for a pirate ship, I expected the treasure chests to be a little bit better, but no, they're storing rocks and wood, so I think we'll pass on that, but I am hearing shots. Oh, what are you? What the hell is that? It looks like a cannibal. Go down and introduce ourselves. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, that's a cannibal. Why are there cannibals on a pirate ship? I'm so confused. Maybe it's a Yog Priest? I don't have a Yog Priest either. This is another one of the big things that I need to find in the East. Uh, you're definitely doing something. Okay, we got another hammer chick who can't figure out stairs. And we have somebody down there with a crossbow that really doesn't like me. <laughs> don't hit the stairs. Somebody spent a lot of time building these, I'm sure. What are you? Yog Priest. Eh, uh, I say that I need a Yog Priest, but I don't want a regular priest. I want a Yog Arc Priest, so you can die. And then down here we have a couple of archers, yay. I knew they would be a little bit more difficult to find because people told me that they were rarer, but I also feel like we're just having really bad luck right now. Like thralls are definitely respawning. I'm cutting them down as they come, but there are fires there. There's two over there. There's one over there. There's lots of places for there to be dancers spawning and they just aren't right now. So I'm gonna hang out for a little while and uh, fingers crossed somebody shows up. We have another craftsman by the looks of it. Shemite Carpenter 3. I need a Carpenter 3. I do not have a Carpenter 3 even back at the base. So we're finding lots of really good thralls. We're just not finding the dancer that I want. I feel really bad because now we only have one spot left, but I can't really give up a Carpenter 3. My entire operation right now is running off of twos and it takes forever to make any kind of arrows or shaped wood or stuff like that. So you will be a welcomed addition. Pulling out some great thralls here. Which side is my base on? Who am I kidding? You don't know. Onto the wheel with you. So now we have a random buggy taskmaster, a level three armorer, and a level three carpenter. So please, like I I'm appreciating the thralls. Don't get me wrong, because some of them I desperately need, but I want to get a dancer. If I don't get one right now, if I find something else that I really, really want to get, then I'm going to do a jump cut and I'll probably release this video in a few days after I have managed to find some. Come on. Oh, 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 more, more. They're spawning. We can see that they're spawning, but they're all dancers ones. <laughs> Two of them randomly died as well. I didn't kill these people. So, okay, they're spawning. That's good. We've had four spawn right here. And uh, you know what? You're a looker. I, I wouldn't mind having you entertain me, but at the same time, you're wearing the potato sack, so you gotta go. Gotta make room for the sexy ones to spawn. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> but at least we know it's working now. That's promising. Ooh, what do we see down here? Somebody down here hammering on something. I don't need blacksmith threes. I don't need smelter threes. So depending on what you go, yeah, armor one, you're no good. Blacksmith one. Sucks to be you guys. You can't dance. You, sir, are not the sexy dancer that I've been looking for. But with my luck, I honestly think that's as good as it's going to get, guys. I've been here for well over an hour and a half. I can't believe this. I've checked all of the adjacent camps, the entire ship, over and over. Nothing is spawning except for random warriors. I don't know why. We did see the four dancers spawn, but two of them spawned dead. And truth be told, I know most people don't want to watch me waste more time on camera trying to find them. More people are interested in the final product rather than the hunt. So now that you guys know where to find them, let's jump cut to actually having them. So some time has passed and the server has been reset and it turns out that was the issue because now dancers are spawning sometimes. It still took way longer than I care to admit, but I found five of them. Four of them I could get back to my base because it turns out a double piggyback across the desert is the best that I can do. But before we set them up, I wanted to show you guys the named thrall that I've been talking about because he's technically even rarer. 
He's been on my wheel for days now. His name is Hayum Hammerhand, and he is a top tier blacksmith. So when I drop him in there, he's going to let me build the exceptional longsword and the flawless longsword. Which is pretty sweet, right? That's one of the better weapons in the game, I'm pretty sure. The first steel weapon? I might have to try that out. So I now have three tier 3 blacksmiths, one tier 4, as well as five tier 3 smelters. And I think over here I have even more furnaces with even more smelters. It's starting to be a, a pretty big operation around here. I'm pumping out bricks, I'm pumping out iron. The one thing I can't buy though are eyes for my guards. I don't know when or how that managed to happen, but I'm not really sure how they're going to guard my base if they can't see anything. They can't even see the dancers, poor buggers. Speaking of which, I should probably get them out of their little metal coffin. I have a lot of dancers, okay? I've been very busy. They're not all the red-dressed ones. I think only these ones are. These are all Stygian dancers. So they are dancers from the city next door to me, and they wear kind of the same, uh, holy clothes from a set that I used to wear. What's wrong with your hair? I think it got stuck to the pole. <laughs> Oh yeah, that that's the kind of sexy that I'm looking for. <laughs> I want to see how far I can stretch it. Oh, oh, why is this still going? Oh my god, oh there we go. Oh no, got stuck to him now. <laughs> Lady, we need to wash your hair. I'm freaking out. Why, why does this happen? This game just, just blows my mind sometimes. All right, Medusa, I take it back. You can go back in the box because you're not what people are waiting for. Everybody has been waiting to see the red-dressed dancers, which are well worth it. I gotta say, it took a long time. It takes a lot of effort, but they look so much better than every other dancer in the game. You know, you have the cannibals covered in bone or the potato sack wearers or the rags, that kind of thing. This looks like the kind of entertainer that you would want in a palace, which is the idea that I have for my base right now. It's what I'm working on. It's not quite there yet, but the idea being I want to have my throne here with guards at either side and like a banquet tables here and stuff like that. It's going to look awesome. Banners and all that kind of stuff. But for now, because I don't have any of that finished, I figured I would build a bonfire up here and maybe they can dance around that. You know, I got some skin rugs lying about and uh, I think I should. Yeah, I can just kind of place them down here. Hopefully they don't disappear. Okay, because that would just be heartbreaking right now. <laughs> Everybody gets a rug. Uh, no. Oh, too close to another thrall. Oh, no. Can I not put my dancers right next to each other? That's kind of dumb. Why not? Okay, that's about as spread out as they can be, apparently. That, that's fine. I think I have two more, maybe three more. Fingers crossed for three, but I think I only saw two there, right? I think you two, Hykerian and Zingarian. Okay. I hate this game sometimes. My god, it is infuriating because you lay down a dancer and as soon as you pick her back up, you get this. She's just, it just says bad entry. And I'm guessing if I try to place her, this thrall cannot be placed. Like, all of that work, this entire two day episode leads to a bug removing it. So now I don't think I can move these guys. They're, they're pretty much permanently up here. I'm too terrified that if I pick them up, they're just going to disappear. So I really need to have a plan, and I do have a plan. I have a good idea. I swear I'm not just hoarding dancers down there. Ideally, I want to put the cannibal dancers around the pit of Yogg. I want to put kind of the potato sack wearing ones around the Mitra temple, because they usually wear that kind of thing. And I want to put the Stygian ones that I just showed you around the set temple, because that's what they normally wear. That, that's the idea, is I want to have kind of everybody dancing to their own religion and praying, and then they were going to be my palace entertainers. But apparently not, because I'm terrified to move them again. God, this freaking game, man. I, I cannot get over that. <laughs> I thought they had fixed it. It has been months. I've lost answers like that weeks and weeks ago. Other than that, I haven't done a whole lot of building on the base. I try to update you guys with what I've done in between episodes. Most of this time has been spent getting the thralls that I'm ultimately going to lose. I have built this little... Uh, kind of fountain-y area, which has got a lot of seats and stuff, so you can kind of sit down and uh, take a load off, burn your lap, whatever floats your boat, have a drink, that kind of thing. <laughs> but mainly, I've been spending my time trying to get this temple fixed. So our imaginary, I shouldn't say imaginary, our faithful stairs still work. And we now have uh, a Mitra Arch Priest here, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I kind of built a little temple around it, because I felt like it shouldn't just be sitting up here all empty like with the idea being this is where all the dancers would be so I could probably fit 
six or seven dancers around the outside of it, and it would look really cool if, uh, you know, I ever get to keep them. But that's gonna be it for this episode of Conan Exiles, guys, and keep your fingers crossed that I get to keep these thralls, okay? Because I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, but I have a feeling that I could log in at any moment and they could disappear, my base could disappear, my eyes could disappear. <laughs> I have no idea. This game is a ball breaker sometimes. I'm doing my best to hang in there for you guys because I really enjoy the series. I love making videos on it, but just keep your fingers crossed for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.